you ever been reading a book and you got really distracted by poor grammar or poor writing structure? I'm usually not that bad about getting really distracted or frustrated because I'm not that much of a grammar nerd really. But recently I had to read Hunger Games for one of my next semester classes. And so while I was reading Hunger Games, I figured might as well finish the trilogy. But I get so frustrated trying to read them because Suzanne Collins doesn't write in full sentences always. I just wanted to draw attention to some of these sentences and talk about them because I was so, I had so many emotions about them. A banquet for the victors that only the most high-ranking people were invited to. That's not a sentence. That's a sen that's a fragment. There's really not a verb in that sentence. Like, invited doesn't count as the verb here. What it should have been was there was a banquet for the victors that only the most high-ranking people were invited to. Or only the most high-ranking people were invited to the banquet for the victors. Next sentence. To know that once a month for a year they would all receive another parcel... What comes next? This is, again, coming into a problem with there's no verb. There's also no subject in this one, which is an even bigger problem. Like, this is just a phrase. It's barely a sentence fragment. It's just a phrase. It's not a sentence. It's heartwarming to know that once a month for a year, they would all receive another parcel. Or even something like, to know that once a month for a year they would all receive another parcel made it all worth it in the end. Or I don't know, I don't... Something like that. Just give it a subject and a verb. Next sentence. Ooh, ooh, I have lots of feelings about this next sentence. Oh gosh, I have so many opinions because this is something that happens really often. Maybe I didn't know about the potential uprisings. That's a sentence. That's not the problem. The problem is the next sentence, which is, but I knew they were angry with me. But is a conjunction. It has to happen in the middle of a sentence. So instead of a period, that should be a comma. And then it's a full sentence. And then it's a nice sentence. That's a good sentence. Maybe I didn't know about the potential uprisings, but I knew they were angry with me. It's a good sentence. You don't need a period there. It. D I don't know what she's trying to do. She's trying to have a pause there. Because a comma would do that. And it'd be grammatically correct. Next sentence. Cooking, flower arranging, playing the flute. That goes back to the whole list thing where you just, where she would just write a list and stick a period at the end, which I think is the most justifiable of all the poor sentence structures she does. Um, because that can be justified as it's just how she thinks. Like, I can get people thinking in lists. In this particular instance, though, I would have started. I would have started with things like cooking, flower arranging, playing the flute. Uh, but that's just me personally. A lot of times she'll describe like what food they have or what clothes they're wearing and she'll just list it and then stick a period at the end. And like, mm, I'll give you that. I'm not a huge fan, but I'll give you that. Next sentence. I'm so startled, I answer. Okay. <laughs> This one's not a poorly written, uh, this one, this one's not a poorly written or grammatically incorrect sentence. This is actually, um, grammatically, this is actually grammatic. This actually is a proper sentence. I just think it's really funny. Like, she only answered because he startled her by asking a question. I don't know. It just makes me happy. It makes me laugh. wanted to throw that in here so I wouldn't be horribly upset the whole time. So this was an interesting time. <laughs> Happy Monday.